This Focus on Health segment is brought to you by Aurora Healthcare. Hello and welcome to Focus on Health. I'm Ted Stefaniak. Today we're at the Aurora Medical Center in Oshkosh. We're in the Interventional Radiology Department and we're going to be sitting down with Dr. Aaron Boss and find out exactly what an interventional radiologist does. Well, thanks for joining us today. We're, we're talking about interventional radiology. And just to give people a background, what, what is that field all about? So interventional radiology, or IR, is a subspecialty within the field of radiology that uses medical imaging to guide, quote unquote, minimally invasive procedures. And those procedures sort of range on a spectrum from the more routine, which include uh, biopsies, drainages, and venous access to more complex procedures such as administrating chemotherapy or selective radiation therapies to the blood vessels supplying liver tumors, for example, or um, opening up a blocked artery with a stent or a balloon in patients who have peripheral arterial disease to help restore blood flow to that afflicted limb. A lot of the procedures that we do uh, can be done uh, in an outpatient setting, allowing patients to go home the very same day. Interventional radiology as a field, I think, is growing rapidly, uh, both in terms of procedural breadth and also in its integration in different uh, treatment algorithms. I mean, it's, a, it's a fascinating study. It sounds like you, you can deal with a lot of different ailments people might have. What, what might be some of the symptoms that would eventually lead a patient to you in, in interventional radiology? Well, patients often get referred to us from uh, uh, consulting physicians for, for various reasons. Maybe they have a blocked artery or they've got swelling in their, uh, in their, in their leg um, or um, they have a tumor that needs to be biopsied, um, or they've got a vein that can't be accessed by their doctor that needs an ultrasound-guided catheter placement. Um, there's a wide range of things that we, we treat now, um, and it's growing every day. Yeah. The procedure itself, is it always puncturing the skin? Is it, is it always um, getting into a vein, or is it different, different methods? So in general, as opposed to open procedures, that you would see in the surgery that require a larger incision or even laparoscopic surgery where they use ports, most of the procedures we do are image-guided punctures, whether it is of a vein, an artery, or even of an organ, a kidney or the liver or a lung biopsy, for example. So yes, in general, everything is a puncture with a needle, but not always of a vascular supply. Sure. And, and you talk about many times it, it can be outpatient. Is it always outpatient or? No, we often have patients that get referred to us in the inpatient setting. Um, and there are some procedures that have more inherent risk to them that require patients to stay in the hospital up to two nights, I would say, mm -hmm. generally. I think some people might be thinking, okay, well, anything like this, is there a any pain involved in, in a procedure like this, or is it? are you awake during these procedures? How, how does that work? There are very few procedures in interventional radiology that are done with general anesthesia. Um, most of the procedures we do under, uh, we do most procedures under what's called conscious sedation, um, which are medications that require continuous monitoring of the the airway and hemodynamic status, but don't necessarily require the patients to be intubated and generally only require a couple hour recovery period after the procedure. So generally that facilitates um, a faster recovery time and a, and a speedier hospital stay. Mm -hmm. Is this a relatively new field or has this been around for a while and, and, and what are the success rates like? So it's, it's IR as a field has sort of been growing uh, for the last 30 years, I think the first fellowship class was somewhere in the 80s. Um, and in terms of success rates, it is a field that offers um, alternative or complementary procedures to what we see as general surgery or vascular surgery or things like that. I would imagine uh, quite a bit of studying goes involved in that. Uh, where did you graduate from? So I went to medical school at the University of Vermont, which is where I met my wife. She's from the Midwest, so we moved together to Chicago in 2011 after medical school. Um, I did a surgical internship at Rush University Medical Center. 
uh, followed by my diagnostic radiology residency for four years at the University of Chicago, which is where my wife trained in obstetrics and gynecology. And then I completed my uh, interventional radiology fellowship at Northwestern. So I know downtown Chicago pretty well at this point. Yeah, it's not that far yeah, away. Not too far. Well, welcome to Oshkosh. We're Thank glad you. to have you aboard. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks for having me. If you have any questions regarding interventional radiology, you can check with your primary care provider or you can give us a call at 303-8700. I'm Ted Stefaniak and we'll catch you next time on Focus on Health. This Focus on Health segment has been brought to you by Aurora Healthcare.